Shortly before noon Wednesday morning, patient X arrived at Naval Hospital Camp Lejeune with extensive injuries, including two lost limbs. Well, amputations of the upper and lower extremities. Uh, also had penetrating trauma to the thoracic cavity and had a collapsed lung that required re-expansion. Corman from the hospital labored for over an hour to stabilize the patient. It was all part of a simulated combat casualty evacuation. Being trained in trauma, this is a very large base installation, uh, and it does happen during routine training exercises on base as well. So part of working on this training is also to be able to respond locally, not necessarily just for deployment. The training exercise between the hospital, 2nd MEF and VMM-264 was designed to train and test the hospital's emergency department readiness in stabilizing combat wounded for transport. The exercise involves all three units communicating to work seamlessly together and gives them the opportunity to practice that communication. Uh, oftentimes it's controlled chaos, but we've drilled really hard to try and control that chaos and make this uh, a business attitude where there's not a lot of screaming, there's not a lot of yelling. People are trying to work uh, at a very brisk pace, but there should not be a lot of chaotic movement. After stabilizing the patient, he was transported to a V-22 Osprey for airlift to a trauma center. This is the first time the hospitals used an Osprey in a simulation. Aboard Campbell's June, Elizabeth Hugh, 9 on your side.